that is 0.2 seconds left on the clock right here i am telling y'all that there is shot clock cheese in this game all to be like it doesn't matter i'm telling i'm playing in the park i play in the wreck i play anything when that shot clock is going down you better be on top of the man's feet and you better have your hand up because the shot clock cheese in this game is incredible Come on. Good morning out there, 2K Land, man. Check this out, man. Starting this thing off the same way we started off with full disclosure, man. Last video, look, 3,000 views, 177 likes. Man, y'all boys really been getting to it. Money on the floor. Let's get straight to it. That is a jump shot video. It's got legs, so we don't expect that one to do too well right off the bat, man. But I appreciate y'all coming through checking it out with the kind words anyway also we did the podcast yesterday man that's what that's this video right here the 2k crossover report go check that out but the real video that we dropped yesterday 11,000 views 800 likes and uh y'all boys like it y'all really liked it man 243 comments man we got to thank y'all for that every day and look man if we can get to a thousand likes today can we try to get to a thousand likes if we do i'm giving away one of these look at it goat status goat status goat Goat status, goat status, goat. I'm giving away one of these t-shirts, either that one or this one, LeBron James, the greatest of all time. I can do one with Mike too if y'all want to, man. Y'all just let me know what y'all want. But hey, now nah, like I said, man, because y'all do that, we gotta start every video off with the Notre Gang Wall of Fame, man. Y'all come through and say what's up, man. Hey, dude says you ain't lying to delay and button input needs to be fixed. Hey, my boy J Nell, yes, sir. I gotta get you some shirts, man. I'm gonna holler at you in the comments, man. Hey, he says, always speaking the truth, Notre Gang. Hey, he said the lag is the number one issue, man. I'm glad that we talked about that, man, because we know that the lag is the number one one issue and then we're gonna go to the top comments man he said the crazy part about is fixing the lag and the connectivity issue might make the dribbling and the steel uh interaction better that's exactly what i was saying on yesterday and then he said the fight the first part of the video explained the second the reason that steel is at the top, top of the list is because the comp community has a fragile ego and th and that's all it is dang boy y'all boys really be coming with that heat down in the comment section man i'm glad that y'all come through with that stuff and talk to me man in the comment section make sure y'all continue to do that and without further ado yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. If y'all interested in any of the shirts, man, we always have these shirts on on uh, the Breeze Tees site, man. Make sure y'all check that out. Get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees. But but um, you know, with all that out of the way, we just getting straight to the news. Also, let's get 15 uh, 200 likes in the first 1500 views so that we can get this video out into the algorithm and go to the moon. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sister, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. Starting the video off the same way we always started off with the top 10 rep report, man. Hey, look, Cash Out remains number one. Random uh, Wizard remains number two. That top three seems to be rock solid. Actually, the top four uh, with, with Malik at number three, 10 GFG number four. But Key Sticks makes a power move from seven up to five at, uh, at number... And I mean, it's from seven up to five. That's key, key sticks. He jumped two spots. Enzo falls to uh, obviously inevitably falls to number uh, six from number five. A swag swag drops to number seven, and then everything else stayed the same. Uh, you got uh, Will at eight. Uh, Will, at, Will at eight, Nate at nine, and uh, Des Moines at 10, man. So, hey, man, them guys is out there really jockeying for position. That's what's going to be happening with the top 10 all year, man. Not only are they going to be not only are people gonna be in the top 10, you're gonna get there, but at the same time, what's gonna happen is, you, you, it's gonna be jockeying all year. So you might come in and you might have superpowers on one, but then the next day, somebody might pass you in the top 10 and you might, you know, you, you don't have the same superpowers. So you, you, it's gonna change, it's gonna be, it's gonna be changing up. And uh, I just don't understand, I, I don't know if other people understand that, but that's how it's going to go. Up next, that boy Quavius Young started, hey, he dropped a bombshell in the community. Hey, that man said, hey, Xbox players are better than PlayStation play, PlayStation. Ah, uh, Xbox players are better than PlayStation players. Yeah, I said it. That boy Power said, "Talk to them, soccer giants." <laughs> I guess it looks like everybody else saying, "Hey, let them know." A lot of people are agreeing with it. What person says the survey says? Uh, nah. Hey, y'all already know I got my bias to it, man. I'm gonna tell you like this: Play, PlayStation has more players, and uh, and as such, they're gonna have more better players but uh well, i think what he's saying is the average 
the average skill level of an Xbox player probably exceeds that of the average skill level of a PlayStation player. I mean, that's just gonna be the case just because of the fact that if you have more people over here, your your concentration of, of good people, you know, the number of good people you're gonna have is gonna be more, but also the number of bad people that you're gonna have is gonna be more. So you're gonna have more good people and more bad people. It just is what it is. Now, I don't know if it's proportionate, if it's disproportionate to anything like that, but I'm just saying that's just how numbers work. If you got more people, then you'll have more good people and more bad people. And hey, it, I mean, and I think that another thing is that people on, on PlayStation, a lot of times, it's, it's probably just not that their Xbox players are better, but the people on PlayStation, they, they tend to play a very certain way and they play that content creator's way where you know it's very standard or what have you. And people on Xbox play what they call weird. And so when you come out there playing weird, then you, you, you get, you know, you, you tend to give people that play standard uh, you know, a little bit more trouble. That doesn't mean that they're winning the games. I don't mean he's losing to a, to a lot of people on Xbox. That just means that it's, it's a little bit different than what you're used to. And anytime you have to make an adjustment, that's just how it goes. But hey, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm just, that's just the logic behind it and the and the uh, the truth behind it, the logic behind it. Oh, but you know, it, it might be different. Y'all might just say, hey, Xbox players are just better. They might just be trash. It is what it is. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Up next, we got that boy Shake talking about what they building up in here. What y'all cooking up? A new event set or something? I don't know, man. I don't know what they doing. Uh, I'm gonna have to go by there and check that out, man. But, um, but you know, we gonna have to check it out, man. LD2K says, they don't tell me over here at Elite what you know uh, what you know rise leader we don't know but are they actually building something in game and it's going to be built and it's going to come out that's gonna be dope man i would love to see something like that man also with my boy shake my boy shake said last saturday i hosted the first one three one v the first three v three beach tournament uh for the nba 2k 24 i didn't even know he did that man and he had a great turnout a shout out to the winner chulo tv and then uh he said shout out to power got now all who competed uh thanks T tmt thrustmaster for the giveaway don't miss the next one and uh he didn't say when the next one was but i'm sure it's gonna be in the video that link will be down in the, in the description and chulo tv just says hey appreciate the opportunity salute so shake that that throwing them tournaments man he got the first tournament knocked out i do want to do i did want to do one this week because i was off this week but i really wasn't off because they called me literally every day so i i don't know i didn't really get a chance to do much of what i wanted to do this week but hey well you know it is what it is at least i got a job and i'm happy to be the network engineer that i am man love it so it, 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 it's all good man up next that boy all city live tv man he said this is some info about the limitless range and he just kind of put it out there man that you can hit your shots from limitless without having limitless more or less what he's saying said with no badge you're hitting 55 percent with bronze you're hitting uh, you're hitting 61% and then see no badge to bronze. That's the biggest one. And then after that silver, uh, 64, um, uh, uh, gold 66 and then 68. So no badge to bronze is the, is the, is the biggest one. And then he says the green window is also 25% smaller than 2k 23, uh, green window size. And I definitely do notice that because when I'm shooting from limitless range, I have to let it go in a, in a way different spot then I normally let it go. It's like right before it gets to his head or what have you. And it's one of those things you don't really get to practice as often as you would like. And so I haven't found the spot where I can, I feel like I can hit that every single time. But hey, we're gonna, we'll are gonna see how it goes, man. But Limitless Range doesn't even seem to be a real part of the game as much this year because once they, once they nerfed what it was from where you could shoot from half court or behind half court and like in the first couple of days, once they took that out of the game, it's just like, you know, people are just shooting from, from normal, more realistic ranges. And I think that's what they want with the game. So that's, it's not gonna be one of those things. Speaking of limitless range, you got that boy LD2K out here. Man, look at this man going down, going down, pull up, tray ball, yup. Hey, right at the end of it. Listen, man, I'm gonna tell y'all something. If nobody else tells y'all this, I am telling y'all. And remember, I'm telling y'all this. Look and see how much time is on this clock when he's taking this shot, right? He's going down the court, boom. That is 0.2 seconds left on the clock right here. I am telling y'all that there is shot clock cheese in this game all to be I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm telling I'm playing in the park. I play in the wreck. I play anything. When that shot clock is going down, you better be on top of the man's feet and you better have your hand up because the shot clock cheese in this game is incredible. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Trey ball, miss something. Like I said, man, and that's slightly late right there. Like I said, when you shoot those joints from 
from uh from deep from you know Victor Hella Depot range. You got to do that. And then uh, like Nate didn't even let him enjoy that moment though, man. He, that man says, "Hey, hey, uh, Chris, uh, I haven't seen you in the park yet. Have you seen the rise court leg and the delays of <laughs> the delays of heck uh, in the elite courts? Jesus, play it." Uh, and see for yourself. Hey, I'm right. I'm cool with that, Nate. That's how you tell. If you want to talk to somebody and you want a good response to something like that, an amicable response, I think that's probably the best way to say it. Hey, man, uh, excuse me, my good sir. Uh, have you played on this? Certainly, you don't have to do this every time, but have you played on the uh, on these courts because the lag is unbearable? So I'm with you on that, man. That's one of them things where I'm just like, hey, uh, it's, 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 it's absolutely insane that we have to deal with this stuff. Hopefully they're able to get it done with this next patch. Like Mike said, the first patch that they put out, it was just to, to, to do some under the hood stuff and that was the day one patch. But this second patch should address a lot of issues. And so, hey, we'll see like that. Speaking of issues, hey, this, they dropped this clip right here, man. And my man was just talking about the ghost contest and stuff like that. Coming down the court, you're going to see him pull up and uh, more or less, more or less you're gonna see where where he's coming down court pretty much wide open and to me that's a wide open shot man i'm not gonna lie this is a shot that i take and it gets on my nerves a lot that dude ain't there man and then he shoots the ball and he got 26 percent boy like that 26 percent like bro that is absolutely insane and that's what i'm that's what i think what people are talking about a lot with the ghost contest and stuff like that so he added mike and he just said hey mike uh, took some time to sleep on this and reflect on this clip and I still lost. Where is the contest coming from? And so Mike did respond on that and he just said, defenders near you, defenders near you at the start of the shot uh, can can register as a small contest. Blinders can help with, help with that somewhat, but even so, 20%, 20 plus percent is too high. I'll look into this, man. Then Grinder says, my small glove actually has a chance, man. I used to pray for time like <laughs> Bro, y'all boys is wrong with that, man. Listen, I ain't gonna get mad at it, man. I think that that is too much as a shooter, shooter, or what have you, because it's just, it happens way too much. But it happens to me on the closeouts a lot, where I'm shooting this basketball, and I can see that this dude clearly is nowhere near me, and I shoot the ball, and the fellow closes out, and um, the closeout is too is, is far too great. And, uh, you know, they said you weren't gonna be able to jump from the free throw line and get a good contest at the uh, at the hash anymore. But people are doing that, and I mean, they're getting great contests. And then sometimes they do get a foul though, so, so like it is like 50-50 on that. But it just sucks that a lot of times you think you're open, you're just not open. And um, I can see if the guy's chasing you, running up your, you know, running behind you and all that good stuff, and they give you the open instead of that. But 26% is crazy. It's makeable, but it's crazy. Up next, hey, we got this, uh, we got a uh, bad man, uh, big, big, what is that, bigger duh? And he just says, hey, please fix this as well. Uh, this is not wide open. There's not, there's no way I'm a 7-1 center and a uh, 7-1 center with high defense. He didn't say what his defense was, but we're going to take his word for it. Uh, with, with high defense, jumps right at the hand in the face and gets a green wide open and it's on a smothered layup. Now, we're gonna take a look at that real quick, man. I gotta see, we are gonna, we gonna look at it on the big screen. I just wanna tell y'all what's going on here because I think that this is fine. And the reason I think this is fine is because you're looking at this, bro, you're out of, not only are you out of position, he's already started his gather on this game. We're just talking about this game in particular. Once a person starts their gather, you can no longer significantly impact their shot unless you get there and block it or almost block it a lot of times and, and i'm gonna tell you right now your interior this happens but it doesn't happen that often because if your interior is high as you say it is mine is 70 they're not really making this on me he'll probably go up and he just smoked that one but he greened it and uh like i said that's just the animation interaction that's not smothered and if you really look at what's going on you're out of position you're you're not there and then you're gathering he's by the time you get up there he's already doing it and this is one of the things i actually like about 2k he went away from you to the other side of the rim so like you can actually use the rim as protection this year so you're on the right side he's going to the left you're not there and uh it, it just is what it is i know you feel like you're there but and then and, and over the course of the whole game we know that didn't happen that much man if you're playing good defense if you just look at this right here what we're doing how we're playing defense you'll probably you could probably see on the last couple of plays like somebody tries gambit or what have you and uh well that's a foul but somebody's gonna try gambit inevitably here and and uh well he probably made that one but 
it ain't the point. But hey, look, Gambit was out of position on that one too. Look at that. Like it happens and nobody's mad about it. Look, he cut. He's on the other side. Gambit's there, but he's not really there. So it just is what it is, man. But again, you're going to see in this game, it's going to happen. We're going to get the favorable result far more than we're not going to get the favorable result. And that's all that really matters because even though this game is close, see right there, look, he's there, he gets the block. So, uh, you know, if you're there, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And Mike backed that up by saying, there's code in the game that requires the blocker's hand to almost be touching the ball to have an impact. If it's, if it's being uh, released very close to the rim, right? Okay, then he says, it was put in to address complaints about smoking point blank layups. And then, hey, the people say, hey, don't touch the layups, it's a skill issue um he should have he should have had better position exactly that's what i say and the person says this and he says layups is layups defense is bad my big my big can be right in front of the hoop and if someone is running uh from running for two steps uh the layup is open and the big and the big doesn't even engage if you don't have if you don't believe me load up your game and go face a guard disco on sunset man, for 10 games bro I'm gonna tell you just the truth, bro. You you probably just bad. Like at, at some point, we gotta realize that it's probably us. We're probably just bad at the game because look at this stuff, man. Like that right there. That's bad positioning by Gambit, right? He understands that when he jumped right there, he knew that he was done. Okay, so but look, look at the next time down the floor. The next time down the floor, let's just let's just look at some. I, I just want to see. We we trying to get. That's a bad shot right there. I'm trying to get when they try when they try Gambit again. Next time down the floor. This man, can y'all take a, let's try to take a layup. Can y'all try Gambit? We trying to get y'all to try Gambit. Look, right there, look. You're not even gonna get a shot off. Then he goes to the next guy and he smokes it. So I'm not hearing any of that about what y'all talking about, man. Yes, you do make it, but look right here, good positioning this time. He completely shuts him down. Not only shuts one down, moves to the other guy. Great positioning this time, walled up, you're dead. So like, I'm, I'm not hearing none of this stuff, man. Like y'all be wanting the game to be changed for y'all benefit, bro. The paint defense is fine. All of, a lot of this stuff is fine. They just leave the game alone. We gonna figure it out. We will adjust and we'll get it done the way that we gonna get it done. Also, man, last but not least, man, get your in the breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees, man. We got the Eat Sleep 2K repeat up there. We got the Eat Sleep uh, anime repeat, you know, or what have you. That's dope. We gonna put the goat status, goat status, goat. Goat status, goat status. We're gonna put that goat status up there, and then we're gonna have this real goat LeBron James up there, man. Make sure y'all go check that out. Link down in the description. Uh, hopefully, y'all have a great day. Let's get the likes up, get the 200 likes in the first 1500 views. If we get to 10,000 likes, we're gonna give away one of them t shirts, man. So make sure y'all do that, and I will holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys speak.